look at what typically happens. So an advisor hears that she's not interested. And, and I'm not saying this is the folks in the room, but a lot of advisors that I've talked to, what they do is go, oh, I tried, okay. And what I'm encouraging you to do is push it, understand it. You need to understand that no. What is the resistance? Because if you think about it, a female client can be uninterested for a variety of reasons. She's not interested could mean that she used to work with an advisor and they had a bad experience and she's just not interested in a new relationship with an advisor. So it has nothing to do with you. It could mean she's not interested because last time she met with you, you guys talked about investment portfolio dis diversification and she thought, I really wanted to talk about saving money for the kids. She's not interested could mean she's been married to that partner for a long time and she knows that when she shows up he's going to do all the talking and she's just not interested. Not interested could also mean that he doesn't want her in the room. So it's really important, and we're going to need to cue the video, it's really important for you to understand that no. And here are the ways in which you can do that. You need to validate and explore. Of course your client's right. If he says she's not interested, she's not interested. So you say, I understand that. And then you explore, tell me a little bit more about what she's not interested in. Get curious about, okay, so if you both were here, what would that be like? What would be the challenges? Maybe what would be the payoff? What topics might interest her? What might interest both of you? Is there a way in which I can reach out and invite her in myself? It's always interesting when they say no. So find out why or why not. You always want to be respectful of the couple's dynamic but know that couples dynamics are complicated. And this video that we're going to show is going to show exactly how complicated it can be.